two for three in this game. Holmgren against Jordan. Now Holmgren. Pass to Waiters. Let's the three fly. You have to respect the defensive effort from MP doing whatever he can to make that. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. 19. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. One guy who's been getting it done is Jamal Murray. You know, I'm not really sure what defenders can do to slow him down. He's just too skilled. Well, perhaps the most impressive thing has been his incredible consistency. This guy is a great player who always brings a ton of energy. What a great half. And the forward spots, Porter Jr. and Gordon. Jamal Murray out there with MP. And it's Jokic in at the center position. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. Now here's Murray. MP outside, puts it up, and it's off the back of the rim, no good. Hey, sometimes the best looks don't equate to points. And here's Giddy, a steady force on their offense, recording around 14 and a half a game. Pass to Holmgren for the lead. Gets the three to fall. Holmgren's got his third bucket of the night. Ah, uh, a superb three-point threat. When Holmgren is knocking down triples, he's hard to contain. And the basket is good. He got it to go, and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up. An opportunity at a three-point play. Defensive foul. Chet Holmgren. That's his second personal foul. First team down. At the line for your Nuggets. And the free throw, no good. There is nothing coaches like more than somebody you can count on. MP's trusted by his coaches, his teammates. They count on him to bring it every night. And Gil just Alexander missing. The Nuggets have gone just one of three in the second half. Jokic passes to MP. Williams grabs the board. And so it's Williams with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They lead by one. Their next game, playing at home as the Grizzlies come to town. That game starts a nice five-game homestand for them. Now a timeout called by Denver gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the Thunder are still developing, but Shea Gilgis-Alexander embracing his role as a catalyst. He said, quote, I have the opportunity to really build something and be at the forefront of it. That's something I know and embrace every single day, and I maximize it for sure. Brian? Well, you can see it. They're so grateful to have him, too. Thanks, Allie. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. Williams has checked in for Oklahoma City. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Giddy defends. Caldwell Pope's shot is off. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just Denver don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Williams. Two shots. Two. Free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. The Nuggets trail. Gordon on the wing. And he gets it to go. Well, you have to admire the strength of Aaron Gordon. This guy is adept at finding his way through intense defense. Gilgis Alexander passes to Williams. Pass to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. Gordon outside. The three ball. And they get it back. Outside for Gilgis Alexander. 
And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Murray up top, Dort defending. Gordon down low, working on Williams. Jokic, and it's all tied up. Jokic has got his second basket of the night. Boy, don't you love to see Aaron Gordon make these kinds of decisions. This guy is fully capable of recognizing open teammates. Now, here's Williams. To the paint. And Williams gets the bucket on the assist from Williams. The assist. Williams has got three assists in the game. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Now here's Gordon. Back to Caldwell Pope. Now Murray. Gordon with it. Two minutes for the lead. Two minutes. Another shot. Jokic just out muscling the defense. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Yeah, that's why they continue to get attacked. And the Thunder call time here. Fans, get crazy. It's T-shirt time. for the Nuggets. Jordan's checked in for Jokic. Watson comes in for Gordon. Brown's checked in for Michael Porter. And it's Jackson in for Jamal Murray. We've got a minute 48 left in the third quarter. Here's Wiggins. Brown grabs the board. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. A late second round pick in 2021. But Aaron Wiggins has earned his way into NBA minutes. And not a big name in college at Maryland, but he just continued developing. And everyone, of course, runs their own race. He's here now, and he is capitalizing. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Now here's Jackson. Second chance effort. Misses at the rim. Thunder with a lead. Pass to Wiggins. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Thunder. Aaron Wiggins. Two shots. Shoot two. First one at the line is good. Holiday's checked in for the Nuggets. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Holmgren's checked in. And Wiggins drops them both. And here's Jackson. He'll bring it up for the Denver Nuggets. It's a five-point game. Joe grabs the miss. For Oklahoma City, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Holmgren. And the big finish by Holmgren. And before he even leaves the floor, Holmgren has the ball at rim level. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Jackson gets the bucket. Jackson's got six. This guy is just working his tail off on the boards. You love the effort. Love the energy. Holmgren. The kick out to Wiggins. Pass to Waiters. There's the triple. Oh, the Thunder. Another three. Nine second.
And Denver has possession. Trailing by 10. Taking a look at Oklahoma City. We've got Chet Holmgren. Josh Giddy out there with Shea Gilgis-Alexander. Then there's Lou Dort. And it's Wiggins in at the power forward. MP right side. Shot clock at 6. Pass to Gordon. Good. And the assist goes to MP. Boy, you put the ball in the hands of the open man. MP textbook techniques to grab the assist. SGA working through contact inside. And playing very well here in the second half. I mean, their shooting percentage is now over 50% from the field. Gilgis Alexander against Murray. And it's Giddy with a rebound. Giddy's got rebound number seven tonight. Out to the right wing. Stolen by Jokic. Pass to Murray. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Kicks it out to MP. Four on the clock. Here's Porter. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got rebound number eight here already in the game. With the 10-footer. And that one's good. Giddy. And now a 12-point Oklahoma City lead. And very few teams rely on mid-range jumpers nowadays. But that's been their preferred way of finding points. Murray looking around. Pass to MP. Jokic in the post. He's covered by Holmgren. Goes back up. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will... A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Giddy with it. With the 10 footer. Again, Oklahoma City. That's about the handle of Josh Giddy. This guy is so good with the basketball in his hands. Outside Murray. Pass to Gordon. Now Caldwell Pope. MP right side. Six to shoot. Caldwell Pope with it. Now guarded by Holmgren. Offensive rebound. A nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Caldwell Pope against Dort. Pass to Holmgren. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. MP, the pass to Gordon. And Gordon with the big finish. Well, the size is there, but the vertical is what really is eye-popping with Aaron Gordon. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. And as we head down the stretch, these players are focused on absorbing their coach's game plan and also drinking some Gatorade so their bodies will be well hydrated for the minutes ahead. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Chad Holmgren. And you have to give him credit. I mean, his shooting is really what put them over the top. I mean, his percentage from the field was just rock solid. I mean, just reliable, consistent, steady. Man, he gave them a safety net on every possession out there. You can just tell how relieved he is to be playing like this again. Before this, he was weathering a rough patch. But now that is all behind him after this performance. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Mark Dagnall had some words for his team over the last break. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. Okay, thanks, Allie. Well, this is where he flourishes. Out in the open floor, Josh Giddy, terrific at getting to the right spots. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Gilgis Alexander with the ball. Checked by Murray. Gilgis Alexander, no good. And so Jokic will bring it up for Denver. It's a 10-point game. And stolen by Williams. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Tries to break his ice. 
SGA doing his thing in close. There's a certain amount of balance and certainly a high level of focus to score through contact. SGA. MP drives in. Rejected by Holmgren. And they get it back. The Nuggets with another miss. Oklahoma City has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. And they had an advantage tonight. Came out sharp and did what was needed. Nice win here for the Thunder. In today's game, you need to shoot it well from three. That was the difference maker. Exactly. And the defense didn't rotate out quickly enough to disrupt their shooters. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. And with the win, the season series is tied one-to-one. -one. You have to love how competitive these games have been with two more left to play. And we've come to expect these kinds of strong games for Chet Holmgren. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Alexander. There's 38 seconds left in the final quarter. Murray against Gilgis Alexander. Outside Murray. Clock at six. Outside, Caldwell Pope. And it's all from three-point range. He's always quick to pop out and defend the three. You know, we talk about this time and time again, trying to stay connected to shooters along the perimeter. Nicely done. Dort outside. And so Oklahoma City takes this one. And by a big margin, they have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the winds can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. Hey, what you working on? Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do.
Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Mine right.
Let's put some work into making the correct decisions during transition. Let's get everyone over here and get started. Here's what we're gonna do. Go back. Yeah, go back. There mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. That's Megan. it. That's it. Yeah. Did three brought me in because I didn't. It must be so nice for Jordan to kick out the open teammates in their dream. I'll switch to your spot. There it is. Just ball move. Let's go, Danny. Right, let's go. Danny the GOAT. That's okay. There you go. Fire that. Good shot. That's it. It's a green bean. Good shot. Kick left corner.
Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports. And a now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Green is out there with Washington. And it's Gafford into the center position. And for the Nuggets, the small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. Murray out there with MP. And it's Jokic in its center. Now we know, Greg, trade talks have increased as we get closer to the deadline. So how does it affect the player when their name is mentioned in trade room? Hey, listen, man, it can rattle your confidence, and especially the first time it happens. But, Kevin, it's, it's important to remember that it's all business, and guys just can't take it personally. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Denver. The drive by MP. Here's Doncic. Pass to Irving. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. So good at seeing the floor. Doncic able to set up his open teammates. Murray, the pass to MP. Now, here's Jokic. Got it. Good job in the low post. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. Here's Doncic, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. And the Mavs consult Luka before any major move now. Rare for a player so young to have that much set. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much I agree with that, but given Luka started, and in the day and age we're in, he is Dallas going forward. And to some degree, I think perhaps he has earned the right to have a say in who he's going to team up with. And Porter Jr. has a very high ceiling, especially when it comes to his scoring ability. And Clark, it's not often you see the blend of size and shooting touch for a player like Michael Porter Jr. He is pretty rare. And, you know, he's got great range in addition to that quick, high release. And all of that makes it harder for defenders to close out effectively on him. There's a reason he's well over 40% from long range for his career. Basket good. Murray's got a second bucket of the night. And the offense, I mean, three of four, a solid start for this game. The pass to Gaffer. Back to Green. Knocked loose. That's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. Just about two minutes into the game. First quarter of basketball. Four on the clock. The three for Doncic. Boy, the determination on defense is pretty impressive for Murray. Really doing his best to pester the shooters. The offensive rebound. Porter, no luck. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that position. And that Harry one's Irving. good, Irving. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Murray takes the elbow jumper and trains it. Murray's got six points. Left the defender stunned. Stupefied Murray with magnetic handles. Doncic dishes to Irving. From 11 feet away, and Dallas again with the bucket. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Now here's Murray. He's got six. Right side, Gordon. And he finishes nicely on the way. It's never easy in the NBA, folks. I mean, great job by Gordon to just dismiss the contact and still score. Here's Gafford. No scoring in this one. Now here's Green. Doncic outside. Throws it up high. And Gafford throws it down. Boy, with the basketball IQ of a 15-year vet, Doncic makes plays that even veterans struggle with. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one.
Denver, leading by eight. And last season saw the retirement of former Nugget great and future Hall of Famer Carmelo Anthony Clark. He was one for the ages. And you can't overlook the impact he had, Kevin, and I agree with you. One for the ages as a rookie, helping them break an eight-year playoff drought, and he never missed the postseason in his seven-plus years in Denver. Underneath in the post, it's Jordan and Jokic. And be out there with Murray. And it's Porter in at the three spot. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. And that's a foul that's called on Josh Green. That is his first foul of the game. MP deciding where to go with it. Murray outside. Just five to shoot. Deflected by Gafford. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey guys, MP in the last game against the Thunder had a difficult game. He only scored a few points and a couple of boards as well. All night he struggled to find a shot. He ended up with some bad shooting numbers. We'll see if he can bounce back here tonight, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great job. But you know, even the best players have weak games, guys. And I think we saw that pretty clearly. Yeah, and, and the question now becomes, you know, can you bounce back? Will he be able to put that game behind him? That is the question, and I'm guessing he can. I'm sure he's discouraged, but he won't dwell on it. He knows how to deal with having an off night. Here's Gafford. And it's Jokic with the rebound. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Doncic passes to Green. Doncic kicks to Green. And it's sent back by Jokic. Hey, give Jokic credit. He's worked hard on his body and his defensive game. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Five on the clock. Here's Green. Commendable effort that time by Gordon on the defensive end. Really makes the extra effort to get to the shot. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. And as we approach the new season, some new talent making the most of their opportunity in the league. Let's check out the race for Rookie of the Year. Some great young players. You look at MP, not really the start he wanted to have for his NBA career, but the season is young. He can still fight his way, guys, into the conversation. And clearly, he's still finding his footing in the league. It hasn't been quite as smooth a start to his season as many had hoped for. But there are reasons to be encouraged. I mean, we've seen some flashes of brilliance from him, and I imagine there's more in store. Jokic, no good. And being that close to the hoop, I thought he had enough room to finish that one. And what a player Nikola Jokic has become. Clark, a monster at that center position. Greg, he's one of the players I enjoy watching the most. I mean, he is so, so good as a center. The scoring, the passing, the rebounding, all of it's there for Joker. And he makes it look easy the way he handles himself. Beautiful to watch that man play hoops. Green with the ball. Now defended by Jokic That'll off his leg. Ball. And the ref saying he kicked it. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Here's Doncic. A shot by Washington and he's wide open. From outside off the mark. Denver leading by 12. Porter inside. Guarded by Green. Porter, no luck. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Irving passes to Green. Doncic against MP. Doncic gets it to go inside. Luka uses his body to create space and then finds the inside look. Denver calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also... Time 
for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time to see Gatorade. Plenty. So it's Denver holding on to an eight-point lead. That's the end of the first half with the score. Your Nuggets, 42. Mavs, 34. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. On the court for the Mavericks. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. P.J. Washington is out there with Daniel Gafford. And it's Green in at the small forward position. And Clark, we see so much more dribble handoff action these days. It's part of almost every offense. Yeah, you know, it gets a little redundant, but it's effective, Kevin. And you know, the league is a copycat league. If it's working, you continue to do it yourself. Teams realize how useful it can be creating the matchups they want. That's a big driver of it. And players are good at running it. And quite, you know, for fans, it tends to be um, pretty entertaining because you typically are playing through your best players. From deep three-point land, the Nuggets get it back in a new 14. Jokic with the bucket. They have been more dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Murray, the pass to Gordon. From the arc. Tries again. Good! Jokic can indeed take a little contact. Jokic is an absolute beast. He does it all at the offensive end. Scoring, passing, rebounding. He stuffs the stat sheet in a big way. And here is Washington. He's been playing a big part of their offensive scheme, averaging around 15 and a half points a game. And the foul called on MP. That is his first foul of the game. On defense, Denver. On the wing, Doncic. He's covered by Murray. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he simply drags one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. Derek Jones, he's checked in for the Mavericks. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Now, among the changes this year is the NBA is granting coaches a second challenge if their first one is successful. Now, coaches had been hesitant to use their one challenge earlier in games, even when calls seemed pretty clearly to have been missed. Downside to a second challenge, more stoppages, but the league may look at other measures to help keep the game moving. Kevin's ball. Yeah, I like that, D.A. A lot of things to consider. Thanks. Ball Time ball. called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent, Clark, like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs need to do something with his presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. Doncic against Murray. Over Doncic. And again, Denver no good. Now, there's an example of good defense beating good offense. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Gafford. Kicks it out to MP. That three off the mark. And if they know what's good for them, that's the way they'll defend against him every time he takes the ball on the three-point line. On the basket by Jones. 
Second chance points always. He's hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guys standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Murray, the pass to MP. Push in. No, stopping MP. So good to see Murray, not just as a scorer, but driving as a passer, too. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Clark, and you've mentioned this, what you like about Jamal Murray more and more is he's always creating for others. You know, look, sometimes it's a function of who you put. Trail by five. The small and power forwards are Porter and Gordon. Jamal Murray is out there with MP. And it's Jokic in at the five. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. MP finds Murray. Back to MP. Denver passing it around. Six to shoot. Deep two from Murray. A rebound by Washington. Washington's got his sixth rebound on the night. Doncic against Murray. And a wide open look for Irving. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. They came close there to tying it up. Yeah, you know, and after the way they fought back into it here in the fourth, that would have been a big bucket for him. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's his first. Here's a look at the schedule now for Dallas. On Wednesday, they'll face off against Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers. And then on Friday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Houston Rockets. You know, they may not admit it, but I'm guessing they're happy to see this schedule that's directly in front of them. Haven't been getting victories here of late, and this provides a great opportunity to stop that trend. Murray outside. To the middle. Here's MP. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Pass to Irving. Yes! And the foul. Jamal Murray. It's going to be on Jamal Murray. They are player. just killing him on the interior. The yeah, you can't say that is. with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not Watch being up. aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. Here's Irving. And the rejection by MP. Jokic kicks to Murray. To the paint. Let's a floater go. Good. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Nuggets? They made a point to protect the rim, challenging shots all game long, and the block total is off the charts. And, you know, on top of that, second chance points have been a major component for them. And I love the relentlessness they've shown on the offensive glass. Lively's shot is off. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Here's Murray. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. And so Murray nails both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. And Doncic throws it down. Yes, I know Doncic takes pride in being able to produce for his team, and he's doing it at a high level here. 
Murray, the pass to MP. Can't connect from short range. Average trail by four. Inside. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Hodgson. 25 points for Kyrie Irving. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. Now, while we've got a moment now to see this year's three-point contest and how it's shaping up, let's take a look at some of the top candidates emerging as we see here some players who are likely to make the final cut. Not too shabby of shooters on this list, Kevin. you got to love the advancement and really the evolution of the three-point shot in today's game. You look at Irving, and at number four on the list, he's almost certain to take part in the contest this year. He's going to be excited to let those long-range shots fly in All-Star Weekend. And the fans have been right to give him so much love. He's deadly from beyond, and he has to be in this contest this season. And as the votes keep pouring in, we'll keep you updated on any changes to that list. It looks like we're going to have quite a group. And you talk about the ultimate marksman's list here, Kevin. Maybe this will be the year somebody gets that perfect score. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. You know, guys, sometimes that just happens, but you don't like to see it when the game... It's making a switch here. MP's checked in. Here's MP. Goes up off the inbound. Gordon kicks to Porter. MP outside. Back to Porter. Six on the shot clock. Over Jones. Here's Jokic. Contact doesn't bother Jokic. Hey, that's just not enough. A little contact will not bother Jokic's shot. 116 left in the fourth quarter. MP against Irving. Rejected by Murray. And the clock is going to expire on an impressive all-around win for the Nets. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. And so looking at their number, this will be win number 22 on the year. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Jokic. Boy, I liked how he mixed it up on the glass. Wasn't afraid to get in there and do the dirty work. Showed some real grit and toughness tonight. There's Gordon with the three. It's rebounded by Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing here by eight. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Boy, he has put in some major work. He's earning his pay for sure. Jokic inside. Here's MP. So the Nuggets win it. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. I think mean, they built off that edge of being here and playing with just a little more confidence than their opponent. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kelly.